I'm out, out here at the lathe and uh, just finished making a uh, custom piece for a friend of mine. And I was wanting to, I was getting ready to do some threading. Well, not threading. That's basically what this is. Just so you're, you don't have to be curious about what, what in the heck this is. This is going to, this spring screws onto this. And there's a bolt in there that they use. Uh, hold on a minute. Here it is. This is what they was using. And it looks like what they tried to do was take a one inch Acme thread, if that's an Acme, I'm not even sure if that's an Acme thread, and uh, that's what they was using, except for the fact that it didn't work very good. Um, so what I did was uh, measure the diameter of this spring. This is a custom made spring that they had made. I measured the diameter of the spring and cut me a uh, custom tool wherever it went, oh, right in front of my eyes, so it's just a radius cutter, it's a little less than a quarter inch, I measured the spring coils to see how many coils per inch it was, and I just set the lathe to that, it ended up being five, five uh, coils per inch, which is basically five threads per inch, and I just threaded this little section of one inch 4140. I've already got the hole drilled uh, through it, and I'm going to tap it. And I was, that's the main thing of this video. So I was wanting to show this tapping tool that I made years ago, and I think I've got a video explaining this in better detail. But basically, what you got, you got a MT3 uh, tapered shaft here with just a smooth shaft that slides into in this tool and allows this tool to slide back and forth it's a precise fit so there's not a whole lot of slop i did make it to where you can screw this handle in it which if you're tapping things i don't know that probably quarter inch and less you can just you can just hold on to the onto this knurled uh part here and whenever it hits bottom or it gets too tight then it just starts spinning in your hand now with bigger ones, this is a 3 8 uh, 3 8 16 tap. So I'm going to use the the handle that I made to hold on to, and basically you hold on to it to where whenever it finally gets to grab too too much, you just let go, and you know the the it, it'll sit there and spin. Anyway, it's fast and easy, especially if you have multiple things you got to tap. So this just fits in the tailstock. How much of this are you able to see? Yeah, this this just fits in the tailstock. That goes on like that. And uh, basically what we're going to do is come up. You want to make sure. Okay, so this is able to, to slide. You want to make sure that this is able to, to free spin whenever it finally gets to that point. And uh, we go just a little bit closer. We'll call that good. And uh, anyway, I I'm going to get started. I've already got me a 5 16 hole drilled, which is what it calls out for a uh, 3 8 16 tap. Uh, let's see what kind of put oil on this here. Squirt a little up in the hole. B1. And I'll tell you what, we're going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Turn the lathe on, always helps. And it's that quick and easy. We're done.
Now, just imagine you know, if I had five or ten of these or even more to do, how quick that would make that job go. Um, yeah, I, I think I made a video on pretty much all the different pieces and parts to this, but I'm not sure if I ever uh, showed the operation of it. I might have in that video, but I was out here getting ready to do this, and I thought, you know, let me, this is such a handy tool. I mean, you have no idea how glad I am that I made this. It is just, it makes tapping so, so, so much easier. Uh, anyway, that's all I was really wanting to show. So, you guys take care.